Astronomers are finding new planets that mystify and contradict known theories. They are finding planets that support and encourage theories about life on other planets besides Earth. Giant planets that are double the size of Jupiter and somewhat smaller planets that are more than 300 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. There is so much to discover in our universe. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three recent discoveries. PSR B162026b is 12.5 billion years old. PSR B162026b is over 12,400 light years away from Earth and is in the constellation Scorpius. It was discovered that this exoplanet has been around for a long time. It's one of the oldest exoplanets that scientists currently know of. It formed about 1 to 2 billion years after the Big Bang. Scientists have not found any traces of oxygen and carbon on the planet, suggesting it is uninhabitable. Because of its old age, it earned the nickname the Genesis Planet and Methuselah. Genesis describes the first book of the Bible, which details how Christians believe the world was created. Methuselah is named after the oldest living person in the Bible. This exoplanet is also the first planet to be found that is circumbinary, meaning it orbits two stars instead of one. The stars are a pulsar and a white dwarf. Pulsars are round and compact with a large mass. They look like a group of stars from Earth, but they blink at regular and consistent rhythms, which is why scientists can use them to find large exoplanets. Pulsars are not like regular stars, but instead they emit two intense beams of light in either direction as they spin in a circle, like a lighthouse. White dwarfs are the remnants of stars like the Sun. At some point, the star runs out of energy and turns into a white dwarf or stellar corpse. An exoplanet is simply a planet that orbits other stars. Whereas all of the planets in our solar system rotate around the Sun, exoplanets instead orbit other stars. Exoplanets are hard to find because the stars they orbit emit bright lights, so the glare hides the exoplanet. Instead of sight, astronomers use different techniques to find these exoplanets. The Genesis planet was discovered using the pulsar timing method. The pulsar timing method tracks the electromagnetic radiation from the pulsar the planet circulates. As the planet circles the pulsar, the pulsar radiates electromagnetic radiation that can be identified on Earth. Astronomers record the consistent pulses to determine if there are small inconsistencies in the pulsar's cadence. These inconsistencies occur because an orbiting planet pushes the pulsar off its center. This technique helps scientists understand the system's orbit and the mass of the planets involved. Finding a planet as old as this one helps scientists understand more about the history of our universe. OGLE 2005 BLG 390LB is the coldest exoplanet discovered. OGLE 2005 BLG 390LB, or HOTH as some scientists call it, is around 21,500 light years away from Earth, in the same constellation as PSR B162026b, the constellation of Scorpius. Located in the Milky Way galaxy, OGLE is not habitable, but its discovery may help scientists in their search for planets that are habitable. This is an exoplanet, which means it orbits a star. OGLE's star is a small red star near the center of the Milky Way galaxy. Its location isn't what makes this planet's discovery so interesting. Instead, it's its temperature. OGLE is about 220 degrees Celsius below zero which is about 364 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. It's the coldest planet ever discovered. Its exterior is covered in rock and ice and has been compared to a similarly cold and more massive Pluto, while its atmosphere is relatively thin and comparable to Earth's. OGLE was discovered using a less popular technique called microlensing. Microlensing occurs when one dimmer star that is closer to the Earth passes in front of a brighter star that is further away from the Earth. As soon as the more dim, closer star moves in front of the bright star in our eye line, the bright light of the more distant star wraps around the closer star and the light gets split into two parts 
around the dim star. The gravity around the closer star magnifies the brightness of the more distant star, just like a lens of a microscope. The increase in brightness lasts about a month, but we know that the star will look its brightest when the Earth, the dim star and the brighter star are all in alignment. But how can this help astronomers find an exoplanet? If there is a planet orbiting around the closer, dimmer star, then the distant star will look even brighter for a short time as it aligns behind the dim star and its orbiting planet. So, scientists will see a short increase in brightness as they look at the data from the more distant star. Astronomers believe there are a lot more planets out there. Similar to OGLE, as scientist Daniel Kubas said, the search for a second Earth is the driving force behind our research, and this discovery constitutes a major leap forward since it is the most Earth-like planet we know of so far. TRES-4b, one of the largest exoplanets discovered TRES-4b is the largest planet ever to be discovered. Its large size makes it extremely interesting to astronomers, but so do a lot of its other qualities. This exoplanet is a puffy planet or a planet with a very low density. Very few planets have densities as low as this. The planet is about as dense as balsa wood, a soft and light form of lumber. The planet has such a weak pull on its outer atmosphere that pieces of the atmosphere may be pulled back into the planet's comet tail. Its massive size mixed with its low density has scientists puzzled. All known current models do not explain how the planet can exist. Georgi Mandashev of the Lowell Observatory in Arizona said, TRES-4 is way bigger than it's supposed to be. For its mass, it should be much smaller. It basically should be about the size of Jupiter, and instead, it's almost twice as big. This giant planet is about 1400 light-years away from Earth, the closest of the three profiles in this video. It also moves around its parent star in only three and a half days. It was discovered using the Transatlantic Exoplanet Survey, when it moved past its parent star. When a planet moves in front of its parent star, it is called a transit, and so the planet was discovered using the transit technique. Luckily for scientists, the transit technique allows astronomers to calculate the size of a planet, unlike other techniques. The reason this large planet is able to keep itself whole may be, in small part, because of its star. The parent star of TRES-4b is about the same age as the Earth's Sun, but has burnt through its energy faster and is on its way to becoming a red giant. While the increased energy emitted might be one reason for the massiveness of TRES-4b, it doesn't explain the planet's size. Edward Dunham from the Lowell Observatory said, TRES-4 appears to be something of a theoretical problem. Problems are good though, since we learn new things by solving them. Solving theoretical problems in our universe is one of the reasons we know so much about the world around us. But what do you make of these new discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please help us grow this community by liking and subscribing to our channel. Hit the bell to be notified when we share about another discovery. Thank you for watching.